I know y'all see the title, I know y'all see the thumbnail, man. And we ain't starting this video yet. I just wanted to tell y'all about that Bensero timepiece on the journey. If you want to get a watch like that, man, go ahead and uh, click that link below in the description and get your watch, baby. But without further ado, let's get up out of here with the Beetlejuice move, with the Nipsey's on the feet, with the tall guy Carvey's merch, man. Let me see the title, see the thumbnail. G squad, G squad, G squad. What's happening with y'all, baby? Tall guy in the flesh. Back with another legendary video with some legendary merch. Oh, make sure you go get your merch ASAP. Tallguycarfuse.com. Link in the description below, all the way down to the joggers, to the Black Panthers on the feet, to the what you dig, motherfucking Mr. Organic Beard Ass shoes on the feet, man. And now we're gonna go get in the Ram Reezy with the Louis Red Bottoms on the mooks, man. This joint right here then transforms since we put that lift. The tires, the rims, the tire stickers, which you can go to tirestickers.com and get those in the description below. And that tent. Did I heard say tent? I believe I did. But anyway, man, and my dog's Victory Lap Venus Hellcat Charger right there, man. But uh, anyway, let's get in here and let's go. Is that red right here legendary or is it legendary? Look at that red right here. Red right here. Red right here. Oops. And red right here on the tall guy car use merch. You can go get your merch. Link in the description below. We got to get the exhaust on this. You know what? Now that I'm just not thinking about that, we got to do that ASAP rather sooner. Then later. So here's what's about to happen. Um, I gotta go over here because me and Jazz <clears throat> are getting ready to leave the country real soon. I gotta go to that speech therapy. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Go back and watch that video. I don't know what video it was in, but just go back and just watch every video or subscribe now. Just watch every video from now on, and you ain't gotta worry about ever missing nothing ever again. Damn, that boy activated, man. But um, me and Jazz are getting ready to leave out of the country, uh, and we're gonna vlog all that on our second channel, Love is Slim. Link in the description below. Make sure y'all subscribe while y'all watching this video because you can continue to watch this video and click that link and subscribe and then come back over and finish this video. Boy, that boy is on the road, man. God damn, man, with that bitch lying on the teeth. But, um, no, um, so we're gonna get ready to go out of the country and we're gonna vlog all that. So, you know, I'm gonna go to the airport and get that global entry or whatever the hell it's called in the TSA sideway because Jazz already has that. So I need to get that sideway. We just skip that line and skip that process. So we're gonna go there first. I got some more errands I gotta run. I got merch in the bag right there along with my meal prep and all that stuff. I gotta mail that off. Hey, man, the grind don't stop, baby. Ain't no complaints over this way. We just all about action and getting it done. So that's what I'm about to do, man. So I'm gonna take care of that first and uh, see how I'm in. Whatever I feel like clicking this camera back on, the timeline might be a little bit jacked up, but either way I go, y'all get the point. So now we are pulling up to the post office, man. Gotta go mail off this merch real quick, baby. Shout out to all the G Squad that got their merch, man. It ain't too late to get your merch if you ain't never got your merch, man. TallGuyCarpies.com. Link in the description below. All merch has been mailed off, man. Look at your boy walk out to that Ram Reese 2.0 sitting like that. God damn, why that joint looks so tough, man. I don't even know if I should put a wrap on that thing, man. I've been thinking, I read y'all comments, all that good stuff, man, but I don't know, man, because that joint looking big, snow whitish, with the goddamn Marilyn Monroe lipsticks on the bottom of the mooks, like my feet, man, with the socks and all that, man. Listen, God is good. Can't complain about nothing. Damn, boy, you get to come on and just look like, I do got to get them uh, step ladders down, so that way I can you know, hop in this joint much easier, but it is big swift for me. But for your average sized human being, it ain't gonna be that swift, man. But anyway, let's go back to the crib. We gotta catch a ride, go pick up the Hellcat. We got a lot more in this video, just stay tuned. So now, we're back at the crib, man, and uh, we might take Victory Lab Venus out today. I don't know, man, cause you know, we ain't drove that thing in a while. So we done parked the whip. Now we're in front of the stable center. We are waiting for our ride, which is actually right there. So now we good to go. So the windows should be tinted on the hell Keezy, so I'll see y'all when we get there. All right, y'all, now we are here at the Rap District, baby. So let's see how the hell Keezy looking and the McLeezy because they both right next to each other. There that motherfucker go, y'all. Y'all see that joint? Big crispy. Come on, man. Top level. You can't see nothing in that joint. Man. So what they did was they put a layer of 20% behind the 30% that I had on all the windows. So the windshield is like 20%. So it's actually darker than my truck and my McLaren with the tent like that uh, in the front windshield. But on the side ones, it still has that like a laminated, dope looking ass tent, which was 30%. Like, hey, that loud, not yet anyway. We got a lot more further to go, champ. But um, 20% is behind the 30%. That shit is so dark. It, you, it looks like you can see on the inside, but you can't. You're only seeing a reflective of like the lights and all that. Look, you can't see shit in that joint. Yeah. No, nope. perfect. Don't send my goddamn door. Hit the goddamn paw, motherfucker. <laughs> about to hit my damn man. You see that shit? I saw it. I was, like, was going to sue this whole goddamn establishment. If you play back the video of when he first starts the car, you'll see me in the background and literally jump. I oh, you did For real? The second you started, I was like, holy shit. What the you know, they'll see it. They'll put like a little timestamp in the video. Yeah, just, just, just zoom in in the back. You'll see me. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> 
start delayed in my in my thing, and then fucking could have slipped my you, hand over. He's about to slide. You about, about to cut your wrist and kill yourself, huh? That motherfucker's so loud. <laughs> Him. Yeah, that's true. Now, nah, hell no, you started it, I and we in y'all establishment. Dodge. Yeah, shit, they got the bag, but they, they, they owe me a little something, you know what I mean? They owe me a few little motherfucking checks, you know what I mean? But I gotta get the, yeah, you laughing because you know it's pure. But um, I gotta get this joint actually a lot louder. What you think? You think we should make it louder? Louder? What would you do? Uh, well, I already got the border attack exhaust on there, but then I so, probably I long tube headers, a tune, smaller pulley. Uh, I don't know, brother. I can't. I mean, that would be the only thing, to be honest. Yeah. Well, you take off mufflers? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's pretty much just a, a drone delete thing right back there. No it, see what I'm saying? No. But the thing, that little, that, that thing back there is the, to delete the drone. Oh, okay. That's what they say, anyway. You know what you could do? If you wanted to go crazy, crazy, the only thing I could think of, sorry, I gotta sit down. No, it's all good. All day. Sit your ass down. Uh, Relax. Uh, what's it called? If you did, I don't know if there's a resonator, but if you took that off, and then if you, there's a way you can get valves closed and open, or do you want it loud all the time? Loud all the time. I'm oh, top of the move, champ. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm gonna get long two headers probably again. I'm probably gonna do all that shit again. You know what I'm saying? But I, I didn't like the way it drove like like last time because the fucking check engine light was on all the goddamn time. I hated that shit. It made my shit feel goddamn raggedy. Standard. Yeah, I don't like that. So it's one of those things like you either live with it or but you hate seeing it. I see. So that's not a thing that can go away. Uh, see, I hate it. Get, oh, when the cat's gone. Yeah. Because the O2 sensor. But can't you like tune it a certain way to where that fucking check engine light? Run it around. Or I think, or that's when I think people get into I valves. would never do it again if that check engine light come on. That check engine light come on, fuck that goddamn that's shit. That's when I think people do valves because they have it right here, wherever the cat is, like right down in the middle. And then it opens up and it comes right here outside. the Come below, G Squad. Do y'all want me to see, or do y'all want me to do um, long tube headers, goddamn everything I did on my last Hellcat with the tune and. I forgot what else I did on this shit, but I did a whole bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know. I'm definitely getting some new rims on here. That's mandatory. We got to do that. So, I got to go up there and holler at my guys at 4G. And this uh -huh. McLaren is about to be big goddamn SEMA show build, ain't it? Hold on. Nah, we can't show them. Yeah, because we got some shit brewing hot in the pot over there. Yeah, I'm telling you, SEMA show though, right? No, yeah. Yeah, I, you know what's crazy? I didn't even fucking know. The Strat Man did the same. He didn't do satin chrome blue, no. but he did satin blue. Yeah, yeah, satin I didn't even know that. You have to say that now so they don't think you copied or anything like that. Hey, man, ain't nobody. Hey, listen, bro, I ain't in competition with nobody but my goddamn self. But his shit, he always been big top of the moot white man. All the dope ass whips, Lambos, Audi R8s. I watched him for years before I uh, started doing He's YouTube. so much, but his car level now is. It's insane. It's insane. And all he does is the most top level supercars type of shit. Of course. So. You hey. get to that level as soon as you buy one. I feel like when you invest into a supercar and you start doing crazy shit to it, you're going to get that attention. Yeah. You're going to be able to grow like that much more. Yeah. Those companies want to work with you more if you're crazy enough to say, I want to do something to it. Yeah. And I feel like if we can get my McLaren in the SEMA show, that's going to be a whole nother level of goddamn accomplishment. We're doing a, a brand new super. We're doing a whole super build. For or real? SEMA. Yep. Damn. Yep. Full build. Wrap. Custom up. Oh. No, he said, shh, shh, keep it on the hush hush. Oh, Top level though. Y'all been telling me to black out these goddamn reflectors for a minute. So my guy right here, he about to get them shits together from me over here. I'm still being lazy, man. I'm tired as hell willing over here, but you know, uh, <laughs> goddamn black that joint out too. So we're gonna black that one out and the two front ones. Them are the only, there's you only four reflectors. Black? Uh, I want 10 or no, just black. black. Yeah, just black. Hell yeah. Appreciate you doing this for me too, my man. That shit gonna look legendary. That's a big, you know, that's something that's so small. It will make the biggest It makes it, and it's crazy because on cars, the smallest shit together, collectively together, make it the best looking. So I appreciate you doing that for me because he said he brought it up. Oh, he's gonna do that on my McLaren too. So that's gonna be a big deal. Oh, he knocked that shit out in two seconds. Big white man, Caucasian shit. <laughs> that was big quick. Appreciate you, champion. Shit. That, that is a big difference though. Big. So shout out to my guys over here at the Rat District, man. That's gonna sound beasty. Don't look at the red eye on the thing with the glowing on the SRT. But uh, I'm gonna get ready to head out of here as soon as they move these cars, man. So uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. Damn, and I gotta get gas again. Just like I had to do in my truck. Boy, oh boy, y'all don't even wanna know how much I had to pay to fill that bitch up. But before we head out of here, um, I want to show y'all. So this is my satin chrome blue material, right? I gotta go up to Ford Giotto because I'm gonna get something real special made for my rims on my McCleasy, man. So just make sure y'all stay tuned for all that stuff. Look at they over there taking pictures and videos of the McCleasy right now as we speak. <laughs>
That joint is so legendary, though. See, look at that. Whoa, boy. See, Jazz, baby, look. Hey, you lucky we together now, nah, because that motherfucker big goddamn woman bagged me, man. Look, they just attracted them by the bundle. Look at they all, look at they all flocking around that goddamn thing. I'm lying. I'm just gassing it up a little bit. So now, it's time to get gas in hell, Keezy. $4.39, huh? Guess we got a nigga. Do what it do, man. Let's go ahead and uh, feed the beast. So while we over here feeding the beast, let's just sit back and admire this joint's greatness. Damn, sure it's come a long way. We got even more further to go. So we have made it back to the crib, but we got one little problem. It's too tight for squeeze, because that goddamn Grand Reason 2.0 is too goddamn monstrous. So what I did was, I came over here and tried to get as close to that pillar as possible. But you know, you don't want it, boy, that'd be weak as hell. You got to scrape the rim or the goddamn wide body, so. We gotta rearrange some whips real quick. Let's start up three of them's Victory Lab Venus. Get her to waking up real quick. And they got a Ford wrapped over there. One of the doors must be shut, cause I did it okay. Let's see. One of these doors can't be shut, cause this did this last time. And the battery wasn't even close to being dead. So let's try to shut that. And let's see if this joint fires up now. No? Okay. So maybe it's this door. Is this door not all the way shut? What the hell could be going on here? Alright, so let's do that. Let's see. Let's start something in. No? Huh. That's weird. Let's open the door. See, is any of the doors open? Okay, just the front door. I mean, that's. Yeah, I don't know. Y'all come below and let me know because right now all I'm saying is the front door's open, but it keeps beeping like it don't want to start, so it will though. That's weird, right? That's definitely weird. The low SRT. 200 on the dash, and my daughter still got half a tank of gas. Now I gotta start whipping this bitch more, save a little bit of money from my two cars. And then have his shit on empty when he get back, be a pure nigga with it, huh? He get back here and be like, damn, man, you left me that shit on empty, brother. I don't know, that was you, that wasn't me, man. Look at that point right there, right there. That's right, BC, right? You know, see that joint clearly? I like Ford Raptors, they're nice, but see, we gotta move this closer because he got a little bit more wiggle room right here. Now this one has moved and done and Good to go. Now let's scoot the Ram Reezy over. Now, if you ask me, that's about as close it can, as it can get comfortably. So now, let's walk over here, hop in the Ram Reezy. Now, look at all the room. Let's hop in the Ram Reezy. Scoot this joint over here, and then we should have enough room for the Hellkeezy. Or should we put the Hellkeezy in the middle? In the truck? Nah, the truck got going in the middle. It's just like too goddamn gigantic and tight. We gotta make this joint a whole lot louder, y'all. I mean, does it make sense for it to be louder? And I forgot to shut the damn door. Damn it. I don't embarrass I'm gonna get out shut the door and then I can scoot up. But yeah, it don't make sense to make the truck, you know, louder really when it's not technically faster. So we gotta make that happen. First, make this joint faster, or maybe we can do a muffler really. And then, you know, make this joint a lot faster. And then make it even louder. We got more than enough room now, so yeah, that worked out perfectly. Boy, oh boy, a great struggle to have though, right? What we gonna do when the McLeese come back? Well, three of them be out here probably by the time that's done. Maybe, maybe not. Look at them wheels. Does it mention the interior on the hill? Keezy? Sheesh, God is good, baby. What y'all think, y'all think the windows are dark enough on the hill, Keezy? I think they pretty limoed out, man. So, and on the truck. And my dog, Mr. Organics, it's look like it's 10 in the front, but it's actually not 10 in the front, but it is type them on one of the other windows. So, oh yeah, and I gotta cut my headlights off real quick. You know, the whole time I left my headlights on while it was over there at uh, the car wrap district, in uh, the wrap district, I mean, if I, if I, am I talking about? Yeah, and uh, the joint's still working and functioning. I actually left it on one time for like three days, and it was doing cool. My battery ain't go dead or nothing, so it's actually pretty cool. But stay tuned, man, I'll see y'all in the morning, man, because I gotta actually go meet up my guy, Rob. Gotta think about, hey, we got some big shit coming for this. We got some big shit coming for the McLeese. We got some big shit coming for the Keezy. Damn, and the Ram Reese's 2.0. So make sure y'all just stay tuned, man. And, uh, I'll see y'all in the morning, baby. So y'all can tell it's a whole new day, man. My dog, Beer by Candy, he here. Keep your boy shop and extra fresh, man. Extra drippy like my whips. How you like the truck, brother? Oh, man. That truck is like, I'm 5'10. And that truck is like up here, and that's a hood. <laughs> so when you get on top, it's like another three more feet on top of that. I'm like, hey, I got to climb the top of the mountain to be on top of the mountain. <laughs> this morning I woke up to a, to a text and we motivated you to be who you are. But it, it means a lot to me and a lot to him that, that we're able to motivate people who are like in the bottom like us, who ran up to the top. Remember, the guy at the top of the mountain didn't fall there. He right. worked his way up there. So we, we, we're giving you the platform to, to do what you do, remember you also have to, when you get to the top, put your hand back down and help somebody up. 
Pure. Don't just point it down and say I made it. No, you have to bring your people with you. Because the bigger the platform, the bigger the help you can get. And the bigger the circle you have, the bigger the protection you'll have. Not from the people you see, but from those who you don't see. Yeah, and you ain't gotta lend the hands to the people. That was a good point too, but yeah. you ain't gotta lend the hands to the people who you don't see trying to work to get up though. Don't yeah, be yeah. trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you a fucking kid yourself trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? But for the people who are working and are trying to put their best foot forward every single day, definitely lend them a hand and help them up. Definitely if you're in a position to do so. And if you don't do that to me, you a bitch ass motherfucker anyway. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you should be banished from earth. You know what I'm exactly. saying? But uh, if you want a legendary barber and you want to get some, you know, fresh cuts from your boy, Beard by King. Links in his Instagram is in the description below. His Snapchat, his phone number, everything, brother. Right? That's right. So yeah, go, man. I got to get fresh and get shopping. I'll see y'all in a minute. So what whip do we take? Do we take Victory Lab Venus, Ram Reese 2.0, or Hell Keezy 2.0? Hell Keezy 2.0, it is. Never gets old, does it, y'all? Now we are pulling up to 4G. I don't know who my guys right there who I need to talk to and see, man. So it's time to see what's up with these 4 g that are going on the Hell Keezy. I want y'all to comment below and let me know what kind of rims do you think I should get on the Hell Keezy? Do you think I should do that candy red with that satin red? Or do you think I should do a different color? Because I kind of want to do red because I'm like, man, it's the Hell Cat Red Eye. It's the Hell Keezy 2.0 Red Eye to be exact. Let's go ahead and uh, park the train. We're gonna see. Cause look at look how bloody merry that looks. Damn. So we're here in Portugal right now, and my rims are currently being cut. It's gonna be a little loud in here. Y'all get the juice of everything that's happening taking place. And my rims are currently being cut. So it goes from like this to this to this machine where they cut it. One of these ones, anyways. One of these little cubicles, man. But it goes from this to the design like this. So pretty much they forge it all out and they make it. And my ones on my trunk. There were people in the comments saying that my truck rim was a three-piece rim. It is a one-piece rim, actually, because one piece is the strongest, so they put the one piece on my um, truck. So it's only right that we got, you know, top-level shit on every last wheel. Got the new forges on the feet. Hey, with the gold moves, too, with the chrome lip, them are tough. But y'all see the hell Keezy big perked up with the red eyeballs on that thing. Let's get in here and start it up, and uh, let's talk about everything we came here to do and uh, accomplish. That joint right there even got some white forges on there. That's hard. Sounding glorious, as usual. So now that we got that taken care of, um, I'm gonna head back to the crib now, man. Then I gotta pack my bags and get ready for this flight because I'm going to Columbus, Ohio to rock with my little brother, the life of DNA, Officer Jones. Known to a lot of people, man. Make sure y'all add up his uh, YouTube channel and all that is. Get it open for some reason. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I got to clock that thing on over now. Come on, what you doing now? But uh, yeah. So we're going to uh, Columbus, Ohio because my brother is going for the Olympic qualifiers. There we go now, we got the gate opening right there. Um, he's going to the Olympic qualifiers uh, for boxing, obviously. So um, I'm gonna be there for a short amount of time. I got a lot of legendary stuff I'm gonna do while I'm there though. Lamborghinis, Hellcats, Porsches. I mean, you name it, I got a lot of stuff lined up, man. And you'll see with who once I get there, man. So make sure y'all stay tuned for everything. And uh, about the rims and the 4Gs that's going on my Hellcats. So pretty much uh, the rims that are going on there, like I told y'all, are a one piece uh, set rim that'll be going on uh, my Hellcat, just like the ones that are on my truck. Like I said, a lot of people in the comment section of my truck, when I got my rims put onto my truck and got it delivered and all that stuff, when I was getting on there, people were saying that there's a three piece rim and it was gonna be bad for LA streets or whatever like that. And they informed me when I was at Fort Yellow, those aren't, a, that's not a three piece rim, that's a one piece rim that's on my truck. Just like the ones that's going on my Hellcat, just like the ones going on my, uh, I can't get okay, y'all too much to stay tuned, man. That's all I'm gonna tell y'all, man. I was about to, I was all about this close, man. So, um, just stay tuned because obviously by the time I get back from my town, my rims will be done up for the LKC 2.0. Y'all want to hear? <laughs> look at this dude right here. He's looking, look at him. Y'all see him? Look. <laughs> he actually liked it though. I'm surprised. He looked like he was about to be mad. But um, no, um, the rims will be done by the time I get back from out of town. And so that's pretty much it. Nothing we're going to talk about. I got some big shit coming y'all way. And uh, I'm actually about to head to the wrap dishes because it should be there by now. Um, the modification that's going on my McLaren is coming in a bundle, y'all. And it costs a substantial bag. Say, I'm just going to say it right now about 50000 somewhere around there. And it's going on. 
my McLaren. All of it. So just stay tuned, man, because ain't no person of my caliber ever in life did what I'm about to do with my McLaren. So just stay tuned and y'all catch that in the next video. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, turn on post notifications, click that bell, and don't skip no ends. I greatly appreciate it, man. But tall guy, I'm out. I'm about to send an hour dead still traffic of uh, LA, man. So tall guy, I'll see you on the next one, baby.